This next graph is one of the simplest. And I would even uh, recommend practicing without a partner, kind of attaching your elbows to your hip joints and flipping your, fist, your wrists over. So you flip them one way, you flip them the other way. We are not hula dancing, but it feels a little bit like that. All right, and so if my attacker were to grab both wrists and I had my elbows way far away, first off, by the way, of course, I'm gonna grab back and make a stance. In this case, where am I grabbing? I don't know, I'm gonna do this, boom, okay? And now I have a stance, now I make my targets, okay? We know how to do that, so instead, let's go straight to the release. From here, we could keep our elbows nice and snug and flip those wrists, use some hip action to assist, and now she's got no hands of mine, okay? Another option would be if maybe she holds on to one and I get one free, boom, and then I can do some of these things before I go for the second release. Last but not least, another fun wrist release, and remember, out here it's much harder, okay? But when they're nice and tight, awesome, easy, easy. Another fun one is called hi there. We just, hi there. She let go on the high. I didn't even have to get to there. Hi there, all right? So that doesn't involve as much hip, but you can still add a little hip action. And now you got that hip to come back and give you rotational force to strike. Always facing the opponent one last time to finish so that they don't grab you on your way out the door.